Hey guys, this is Chris Kermis and today you find me in Kuala Lumpur's Chinatown. And it's one of the most visited tourist destinations here. Today I'm going to take you around the main sites, the temples, the markets, the food and so much more. Come join me. But just before that, let's head out to the beautiful Tian Ho Temple. And this is the Tian Ho Temple. This beautiful huge six-tiered structure was completed just back in 1989. And it's a Buddhist temple dedicated to Tian Ho, a patron goddess of the Hainese community who's believed to watch over fishermen. Nowadays, many locals come here to worship Gian Yan, the goddess of mercy. Wow, this place is just incredible. You've got the red lanterns everywhere overhead. This display here for the year of the rabbit, of course. Behind me, all of the Chinese animals, these incredible rooftops of the temple. It's just beautiful, kind of over the top in some ways, but in a nice way. Wow, just on the lower floor of the temple, you've got this huge shopping area and food court. <laughs> So over the top in every way. And what an amazing place. You climb the stairs and you come up to this huge courtyard with the main temple complex area in the middle. You can climb even higher up to the top levels of the roofs here and you get this fantastic view over the city. And that's it, I've ascended to the top as far as you can go. It's just so beautiful, the view here. You can see the KL Tower, 118 in the background as well, all across the city. And the beautiful roofs of the temple, of course. The detailing on this is absolutely incredible. I've never seen anything like it. But let's head on now. And let's head into the downtown Chinatown and explore the Chinese community here further. So this is Jalan Petalan, really the heart of Chinatown here and one of the most touristed sites in the city. Let's go take a look. I've really seen this changed over the years. I remember the first time I came here back 17 years ago, I believe. It was a completely different vibe. It was a lot busier and it was completely not so touristy. Now it's all t-shirts, souvenirs, that sort of thing. Before, I actually remember it being local stuff. Very different. And there you go. Do you want knockoff t-shirts, handbags and all that sort of stuff? You know where to come. Okay, so just pop around the corner from Jalan Petaling to this street full of restaurants. Picked a restaurant here, Chinese restaurant, and full of people. Always a good sign, right? So, got a couple of dishes here to try. A little snacky one. So this is the chive pancakes. I saw a few locals having this, so I thought, well, let's give it a go. And then the chicken dao xiao. Right, let's give these a try. Oh, that's good. It's so full of this. It's really, really vegetal. The sort of onioniness from the chives. Like, yeah, vegetal, then onion. Oh, wow. Kind of thin, really just holding this mass of fillings together. Oh, that's delicious. Okay, let's pause for a moment. Take a step back. Just another bowl of noodles, you're thinking. Well, take a look at this guy in action. This is absolutely incredible seeing him make these. What goes into just making this bowl of deliciousness? That's incredible. Oh. 
Okay, let's try the noodle soup. Bit of the broth here first. Oh, wow. Oh, that's one of the best I've had. That is delicious. Wow. Now, the flavor is superb. It's got so much more going on than just the chicken there. You've got this lovely, lovely note of the spring onions in there. Really deep and rich, full of flavor. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at this, lovely. This chicken breast, all these greens in there, that lovely broth. Mmm. Oh, wow. I'm loving this. And just around the corner here, we find the Guandi Temple. This beautiful temple dates back to 1886 and it's got this stunning backdrop. The smell of incense is thick in the courtyard there. The beautiful shrines and temple at the back. And then the open roof with 118 piercing the sky. Beautiful. Now this little street here, this kind of seemingly nondescript alleyway, but full of people, is known as Kwai Chai Hong. And the aim of this, through the artwork and through the look of the place, is to take you back to the 60s. Okay, now we're gonna pop around the corner and see some more local street art in the area. This one's known as the Goldsmith. So this building here is not just a temple, it's actually a clan association building, the CSSY Clan Association Hall. Now, what's a clan association hall? Well, it's a little club for people with the same name. So in this case, Chan, but it also includes people called Tan and Chen, because it's the same Chinese characters for both. So that makes this a very, very big clan. And what does the clan do? Well, at its core, it used to help new immigrants to settle down and to find work. And the funny thing about coming around here nowadays, whatever site you see, wherever you are, always behind is the 118. You just can't get away from it. Now I'm off to the central market. Now this used to be an old wet market, but now it's a restored cultural heritage site with an amazing Art Deco facade featuring shopping, food and even a stage outside. Okay, so this is the main drag now of the central market. It's surprising you actually see a lot of locals out here, not just tourists like I kind of expected. And supposedly on the weekend down this main section they have a lot of sales on. Upstairs, they've got a lot of clothes, they've got the food courts. Yeah, not really what I expected in here. Hi, my puppy. That's incredible, unique little shop there, full of antiques. It's just so full of stuff you could hardly move in there, let alone find anything. It's coming out of the side entrance there, we get to the art annex. So this supposedly is quite a thing here, batik painting. And what this is, it's kind of like a Western colouring book. So you've got the base outline of this painting made and then kids will just come in, they'll sit here and they'll fill it in and do the full paintings. And up here on the first floor, this is the clothes section, so much colour everywhere. Step over to the other side now to the food court. Then in the middle with steam coming off to the side you see the Jamak Sultan Abdul Samad Mosque. Absolutely beautiful. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video guys. This is going to be the last one from Kuala Lumpur. But come back soon, there's going to be a lot more coming. See you next time. Mm -hmm.